good as it I is. think so. All right. Okay, yeah. We got All Iconic. Right. Iconic Westchester matchup in um, any PT versus Bobo or... I mean, PT versus Any PT snake. versus any snake. <laughs> yeah, any versus three snakes, yeah, honestly. Um, so far, it's very even. I don't know when the last time these two have actually played. Um, uh, Bubble was talking about it earlier. I'm pretty sure it was before Collision, so they have not played in a minute. Oh, yeah. I think I remember seeing them play before Collision, actually. Mm. It, was, it was a pretty close set. They were scrapping a lot. These two, they have some pretty good sets. Yeah. Obviously, Quid is... An insane player, but, but yeah, the Westchester, the Westchester star, and yeah. Bobo, Bobo's up there with him in this guy's honestly. The Westchester star, he's the New York star, though. <laughs> honestly, I gotta it. give that, I gotta give that title to Zamba. Dude. Okay, Zamba, like Zamba, well, Zamba at Crown though. Zamba at Crown. Zamba though. at Crown was crazy. I can give him that. Like, you can't not give him that, but that's a different story. Right now though. Right now though. Uh, Bubble gonna get the C4 tag, so he's gonna be able to grab left off of that. But damn, there. the patience catch the up air was really nice. Yeah. Follow up? Okay, just get Astro tag. Nice little chip. Oh, yeah, I was expecting Bubble to go for that. Unfortunately, he couldn't go for the bear because he was facing towards him, so he's yeah. trying to try to just get a get a down air off of that. Just get something. Great patience there from Quid right there. Damn. Air up, dude. This is where it gets really scary. Oh. This is where, it, that's where it got really scary, but. He missed a move slightly and got smacked for it immediately. Bobo has zero fear. Bobo has no fear in this game. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen Bobo play scared. I mean. Now that I think about it. After a certain point in time, after you've been playing this game for so long, you should know what's going to happen most of the time. So. Yeah, and it's also kind of like a mentality thing. Yeah. Where it's like, it's not that you don't care. But it's also that like you're, you're just accepting you're, you're accepting yeah. of like any outcome. And, uh, yeah. Oh, this could be big damage. No, I couldn't get the nair off of it. That up smash actually saved it. I wonder how long the timer on the C4 is. It should be it should be blowing up soon. Yeah. Okay, he just threw it out, but yeah. Oh I love that jab. <laughs> Jabs in this game are so underused, honestly. Yeah. Even if the jab is bad, they're so fast. Like, yeah, it's like in a in a situation where you're where it's very scrambly. <laughs> it's like like a scramble situation. Being the first to pull the trigger may not always mean everything if your move is a slow, as like a maybe like frame ten or like frame eleven. Not like a. A good, like, a good jab will, like, boost it, you know? Yeah. Uh, jabs have pretty good hitboxes, too, so it's not even like they're that crazy. Yeah. Like, Ivysaurus goes pretty decently out there. Snake has a pretty good jab. Yeah, Snake has an insane jab. Oh, That's honestly a good trade for Bobo. Yeah. He needed to get out of there. So, like, just taking more damage and giving some over, like... That's pretty worth just to neutralize the situation. Yeah, just to get some more room. Get himself situated. We got neutral now. So wouldn't have that otherwise, so. Yeah. Pretty tough spot for both play, actually. Put on the legs. This can be really bad. 90 is out. Uh, 90 is death percent, honestly. For like either of stake. them. Yeah, for either of them, you're right. I wonder, um. I wonder how useful Bard is here. Not a buff. Oh! Oh, he had like a later percent. Not at not that percent. Yeah. I guess you really need that later. More than anything. How do you get in with Bard against Snake? I mean, I don't think you necessarily... Not like, yeah, it's not about getting in, but like, how do you get like the hit you need in general? Yeah. Other than maybe back air edge guard. Gonna go back to PS2, yeah. Both both of these players having a good time. Pokemon trainer. I got Pokemon trainer, got the snake. Ah uh, yes, the classic. Because why would either of them play any other character in this matchup? I mean, it's not that <laughs> it's not that either of them wouldn't play something else. It's just that like they might just be goons and pick some funny goon characters or like Cinderella or or Quid Snake. Well, I think. This is like they're playing a pretty serious set, semis, so yeah. if they were having like a boon or reset, yeah, we'd see 
You can see like Pac-Man did those. That'd be a funny one. Wow, Nair to Mortar. Wow, I, oh, Squirtle Nair is like so undeservedly big. Oh, uh, however. He an explosive projectile and didn't blow it up. You may have Nair'd that up smash, but Snake up tilt is a whole different beast. Yeah, oh, that's going to be 30. Almost 40. Uh, couldn't get the, couldn't get the dash attack to extend it. Yeah, he went a little too high up. Great down tilt. Another good down tilt. Oh, this is so scary for Bobo. I really thought he was going to get down air. Oh, the grenade. Oh, yeah. Quit just calling out the shenanigans there, obviously. There's only so much you can do. Great punish on the switch. That was very uh, good. That was actually pretty awkward for Quid right there, staying in uh, Ivy Sawyer. Not much he could have done. He only got back in for it. Something too crazy, though. Yeah, but he got both in the corner. True. Now we got to deal with this, this snake with a fair, fairly... I feel like Squirtle becomes a way worse. Not worse, like really bad, but like... I feel like Squirtle really likes characters going into him rather than him going on to characters, you know? Especially a character like Snake, that's not, I feel like that's definitely the case. You do not want to be having to run into Snake. Yeah. That was very scary for Bobo. C4 in a pretty bad spot, honestly. Like, right now in neutral, like, the C4 is doing nothing. Great pair. Yeah, the C4 is mostly defensive catch, like platform landing, some ledge trap, stuff like that. Hasn't really done too much otherwise. I mean, when Snake puts down the C4 on like the center of the P one of the PS2 platforms, it's just you're you're essentially just covering like legit a fifth of the stage. Honestly. Yeah, you're covering that like whole area. Yeah, it's such like a big bubble right there because it's right under the platform. Yeah, you're covering the whole platform. You're covering like right below it. You can't really like move in and out of that area, so you're covering a little bit more too. Right now, Kuga with a very sizable lead while we were talking about silly C4. Ah, uh, yes. Alright, Bobo just playing some basketball. Getting caught. Caught dribbling. Oh, very, yeah. very bad spot. Like, you have to. You don't have to air dodge there, but you're essentially, you're essentially forced into, like, the fastest, the world's fastest 50-50. Either insta get up beat or just get up aired. Yeah, you pretty much just have to pick an option. If you don't, you're just gonna get. I don't know, it was really weird. He had to pick a really specific option, but the hitbox, the angle he got sent at anyway, there was like so little he could do there, especially with Snake. The angle, or not the angle, the drift he has is just not enough to really do much about that. Yeah, Muna and G Extreme. G Extreme? Oh, I would have liked to play Extreme G Extreme. Oh well. <laughs> Muna and I had our 25th set. Uh, yes. This time. He won. Close 2 0. We are now 12 and 13. <laughs> I am up <laughs> one on him. <laughs> wow. wow. That is hilarious. Wow. I didn't realize you guys went that back and forth. Yeah, it was pretty. It's funny because he had he had the set count on me for like a good few months, and then I just kind of had that comeback. I think it was like I was down like eight, eleven at one point, and then I tied it up. And now here we are. Here we are, twelve and thirteen. One of the Pikachu, one of the few characters Diddy Kong struggles to deal with. 